Hey, this is Scott here with Abundance Coaching TV, and I have Stefan and Tatiana here with us. And yeah, you guys just really did your life languages, hey? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've done different personality tests and everything before, but this, I, I really like this model because it, 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 like everything that we did together was so accurate. And it really, like right away, as you're describing the different life languages, I was able to identify like, oh yeah, like I can relate to that in a big way. I can see how that shows up in my life. And then also other people in my life too, the people, my f family and friends and people mm -hmm. that I know. So it's cool to have this as a model so that you can see how you, what your strengths are and how you can improve yourself, but also everyone else that you meet. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And what, what do you take out? Well, for me, um, personally, when I, as soon as you, you brought up the charts and then the video, and it's just, there's a lot of detail that goes into everything. And so right off the bat, I just saw the quality of it. And then when you started describing you know, each language and just even the picture of the language, what the symbols mean, and everything has <clears throat> a purpose. Yeah. And so when we found out our languages and did the, the test, and we really found that it resonated with us, and it was almost a, like 100% accurate for us in every single way so definitely reflecting on my life and seeing okay how do I do things and this is why I do yeah. things and this is how I am and I have all these languages but there's certain ones that are more dominant than others and which languages should I maybe bring out more during a necessary time so it's yeah. kind of like you can manipulate um, what's gonna serve you and what, and what purpose at what time yeah so it's really for cool sure. that's amazing and you know, you guys are both into like personal development, personal growth, and we've all done like some of those like personality tests, discs and yeah, Myers Briggs yeah. and things, right? And personally, I've just found that life languages has just been like a game changer for me because it just allows for me to experience that, you know, we're all seven languages. We're not boxed in one area or mm -hmm. this isn't like, you know, this small description of who we are. How did you find that part of it? Yeah, no, I, I, I love that because you can see, um, you know, which like which are the more dominant sides of how you currently live your life. And then you have all of them within you. But you can clearly see despite how you live your life, which are the ones that are most dominant. And then I love how like each life language it helps you understand the traits, the characteristics of that, the strengths of it, but also what you need to develop, what you need to really focus on cultivating more mm. and to have more balance in your life or knowing how to utilize the different languages and different circumstances. So for me, like there's part of my business where I need to bring out yeah. more of a certain language. I need to cultivate that more, yeah. whereas more as you know, the shaper or being more strategic and just being aware of that and how I can use them in different ways and how I could develop myself. Yeah. I find it's a really valuable tool for that because I think the other ones, they don't really give you practical ways to use it as a self-development tool. Yeah. And I can tell just from the work that you, Nicole, did, it's just the tip, tip of the iceberg. Like you can go really deep with it mm -hmm. and that's the exciting part. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of shapers, you guys are <laughs> top shapers, <laughs> hey? Both of you. Yeah. Like, yeah. And you know, this is a little plug for Project Life mastery and Lux Health, right? Just that, you yeah. know, the planning that you guys go through behind the scenes, yeah. knowing your life languages now, I can see why you're such a successful couple and individually yeah. like with your businesses yeah. too. Yeah. It really comes out and I don't know about you, but like, did you find that, hey, you know, like when you saw the shaper, you know, here's oh, some yeah. of the characteristics, organized, strategic, you know? Yeah, well, especially when I saw like the sequence too, like yeah. the shaper doer and even the contemplator because I think you know each one has you know the pros the, the, the yeah. strengths but also what you need to develop yeah and so that was really interesting because you know we both realized and we're discussing this yesterday like yeah we're strong and shapers creating the vision planning strategic but we're also good at actually implementing and doing yeah. and we're mm -hmm. also strong contemplators but also just how they work together yeah. I think has been really key and so we were reflecting on that and that was really helpful for us just to see that and actually mm -hmm. understand like yeah and then also looking at hey you know what this is why we're a little bit weaker in this area and we need to develop this more too mm -hmm. so yeah, that was that's great. great to know that yeah. yeah i just want to encourage you like that's something that i've just noticed just getting to know you just as a friend and, and also just like knowing you for a while is that you are awesome at the planning and delegating and mm -hmm. organizing mm -hmm. and you know a lot of these qualities right like the passion to lead yeah wow how big yeah. is that right yeah. so there's like that passion to lead and 
and um, the passion like of your contemplator as well. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. the things that you're interested in, you just soak it up. Yeah. yeah. And the intelligence is in there. Like you want to just like know some yeah. of those areas and you're big on contemplator too. Obviously. Yeah. And it was just interesting, you know, yesterday, like he said, we just scratched the surface of yeah. it because, and we do want to dig deeper and learn more about it. But even, you know, as we were going through all the languages and then we kept on pulling up stories in our lives that, hey, yeah, this does, we do relate to this. And there's this yeah. time and that time and contemplator during this this part of my life and that part. So it was interesting to kind of see how, you know, I could attach different stories to each language. Yeah. And um, yeah, for me, you know, you're talking about the shaper and, mm -hmm. and a big thing of that is patience for the plan. Yeah. So it's difference between patience and then patience yeah. for the plan. So we both found that quite um, relatable to our lives that we do like to make plans and we like to have goals and stuff and we have patience to get to them but maybe in our day-to-day -day lives with people we don't have as much patience and we want to ah, work on that that's so, an interesting one hey yeah. yeah this communication tool just helps us to like access even more greatness yeah and like this is who I am yeah okay you know, like these are my life languages. Yeah. Yeah. I've been uniquely created with these yeah. amazing life languages. Yeah. yeah. And you know, maximize those languages yeah. and then raise others up. Mm -hmm. yeah, I sure. think it gives you a lot of clarity. So yeah. sometimes a lot of people, maybe you don't really know, you're, you're kind of looking for something to put a, put a word to it or a name to it. And now, yeah. now with the life languages, mm -hmm. you really do have that name and then you have just so yeah. much more than that. And it gives you clarity on, on who you are, how you react, how you respond and just, and just so much more, so it's really interesting. Yeah, and also just the ability to measure on an ongoing yeah. basis, because yeah. I'm actually really looking forward to doing this again in the future. Yeah. Like just seeing, because <laughs> I'm all into self-growth, right? Yeah, so I, for me, it brings a lot of awareness. Yeah. And then with that awareness, I like to, okay, you know what, maybe I need to, I'm a little bit out of balance here, or, mm -hmm. or maybe I get to work on or develop this side of myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to doing that again in the future and just kind of comparing to yeah. see how that changes and how yeah. that affects yeah. things and even our, our relationship and also with other people too. And you guys have already like in your own personal growth, like in the contemplator and you, yeah. Yeah. you found ways to like find your own space as well, mm -hmm. you know, which is helpful to know, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, one thing, we're just so, our intuition is so similar too. And mm -hmm. and for us, one thing that we like is we like to also have our own space and our recharge time. And yeah. it doesn't offend either of us. It's fine with us, but we really realized this in our contemplator and we understood it just more than we did prior to doing yeah. the session. Yeah, that's it. So this was a totally spontaneous interview. Yeah. <laughs> we just talked about it, yeah. but I just want to just like highlight the influencer in both of yeah. you. <laughs> just like to be willing to do that. A lot of people are just like, whoa, you know, just like I'm on the spot. I need to plan. I, it's like maybe caught too All much right. into the shaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you guys are just like willing yeah. and you know, oh, you yeah. fly oh, yeah. when you're on stage. Totally, totally. Your influencer just Yeah, and goes. I want to I thank you and Nicole both both for facilitating that for us because yeah. I think also it's an awesome dynamic having you both do it mm -hmm. and you both have such a high level of mastery and understanding of it that when you share it when you communicate it you're able to make it so relatable to yeah. like each of the different languages relate to it in so many different ways and you each were able to share based on your own experience you know based on your languages um, and your own personal experiences from that too. So I want to thank you for that. That made a mm -hmm. big difference for us too. Oh, and also just to touch yeah. on one thing is that this can be quite personal too. So yeah. we, we both feel just so comfortable with you. And you know, I having just met you recently and it's still, we had no issues and yeah. it's just, you guys are amazing and we really are grateful for that. And just the comfort level, it's just amazing. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sure Nicole would love that too. Yeah. yeah we felt the same. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for mm -hmm. just your warmth and just for sharing today. And yeah, thank you for whoever's on here yeah. that thinks that uh, this might be a good idea to also find out their Definitely. life. Definitely. I think everyone should do this at yeah. least once. Sure. Everyone should. Yeah. And as a couple, as an individual, even as a business coach or whatever you are, it's going to yeah. serve you in, in that field. That's awesome. Hey, honey, I remember when we were first courting. And here I was, this farm kid from Saskatchewan, <laughs> Canada, in 2006, and I flew out and moved out to Toronto, and here I was, it was the airport church at the time, and you and all of your friends were talking about contemplators and influencers and doers and shapers <laughs> and all these life languages, and you influenced me to take my life language profile 
and then go to that workshop and wow was it just awesome it changed my life it helped me understand who I am and more importantly it helped us when we were courting in our own communication and now even in our marriage we use it all the time yes we do and it's actually such a privilege to be able to teach this tool you know communication we need to communicate wherever there are people we need to communicate and sometimes it's really easy and other times it's difficult we may come across conflicts or we don't understand someone we don't understand what they're trying to tell us and with the seven life languages once you understand what the life languages are and actually be able to pick up what languages people are speaking it is a lot easier to communicate